Okay. This is Lara Croft, an archaeologist from the Endurance. Hey, wake up. User joined your channel. I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought that any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea, and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared User without a trace. From your channel. Forgotten in time. Another shrine. Who are they worshipping? These are fascinating. I've seen these before. They must be ritualistic. This female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. Handles missing. Together. Oh shit! It won't take the fourth. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. Let's see if I can fix this axe. should do it.
All right, Laura. Shall we give it a go, then? Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Darling, think. Think before filing those papers. I've... I've sunk the last of my fortune into this expedition, but it's all going to come back tenfold. If, if you divorce me now, you won't see a penny of it. You've been with me since I was nothing. You know what I'm capable of achieving. I, I haven't lost my touch. I'm just at a low point right now, don't you see? I'm on to something here. Laura, you remember her, my, my young protege. She has real data to back up her theories, but she doesn't have my savvy. It's going to be my name on the discovery and my face in front of the cameras. If this all pans out, the show will be huge. If you want to leave me then, I, I promise I won't fight you, but please just wait on it. I, I can't have this kind of publicity muddling my image, please. you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman. Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything. Even what may seem to us irrational, we still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look. The bowl. The candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island. It must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine! Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. You still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No. I'm handling this. No. 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 Please. Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do it, do whatever they say. Дай меня пистолет. Иди. Пошла. Who are you people? What do you want Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them. Don't hurt them, please. I said, silence, girl. Not yet. Хорошенькая, да? Напоминаешь мою сестру. Yeah, I'm on it. Yes, I need a study. I look up the book. Anything? I can't find her. She's gone. We'll keep looking. There, another one. Right. 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 Right.
Too bad. Hey, the girl is missing. Keep an eye out. All right. Ты играть тебя в прятки, малышка. Думаешь, удастся спасти? No one escapes. Out. Вылезай! Но трать моего времени! I always Она тоже была порадочной стерлой. Lada, 
Are you there? Yes. I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh God, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try. about nightmares is sooner or later you wake up but there's no waking up from this place which means I'm really here I'm really doing these things no don't think about it Lara not now it won't help I don't know what's happened to the rest of the crew I hope Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now. Looks like a smaller group escaped into the lower forest. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. No. Oh, fuck! Ah! Careful! He's armed! Got some fight, outsider. We got you surrounded! Give up now!
She's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> you find anything on that side? No, not a damn thing. Whoa. Hey, watch it. <laughs> How far down is it? All the way to the sea caves. Damn, maybe she fell. No, I don't think so. been used by a villager or a noble maybe. By, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, 
I knew I could never refuse him. 